I want you to know that no matter where you are in life, no matter how low you have sunk, no matter how bleak the situation, you are not alone. You know, if you're going through a divorce right now, if you're going through a financial problem right now, if you're going through an illness right now, if you are going through any form of crisis right now, I know you might be, you, you might not even want to get out of bed in the morning. It might be that bad. This is not something to ignore. If you have depression, if you have anxiety, if you have post-traumatic stress disorder, if you have any kind of mental health condition, it's nothing to be ashamed of and it's nothing to hide and it's something to hit head on with. Um, there's one thing, one thing that if you did every single day, no joke, it would make an extraordinary difference in whatever mental health issue you're struggling with and that is exercise journaling where you process through your pain i mean the worst thing you can do is what society suggests that you do escape get busy forget about it lose yourself in work of course you have to work of course you have to show up your team needs you life needs you your family needs you life is for the living i got it i don't believe that the answer to get through your pain is to escape in your pain. You can't motivate yourself out of heartbreak. You've got to feel yourself through the heartbreak. The quickest way out is in. For anybody with depression or anxiety, or any mental illness, frankly, is you've got to exercise every day. And the reason you've got to exercise every day is because what we know about human beings is that when you physically move, your physiology changes, and that changes your brain. Getting your heart rate up, getting outside, breathing, feeling connected, getting out of your house, which may make you feel depressed and trapped. Doing that every day, that physical push. You don't have to run. You don't have to go to an aerobics class. Get outside with your dog in the woods. Walk with a good friend for two or three miles. Doing that every single day not only moves your body, which changes your mind, it gets you out of your physical environment, which is one of the things that people with depression tend to have a hard time doing. And it also creates a bit of momentum and a bit of a routine in your life. You take on just that single thing. Get outside and exercise every single day as if your life depends upon it. Because you know what? It does. Your brain needs it. Your body needs it. Your mental health needs it. This is not the end of your story. I know it may be hard right now. The world right now is in the middle of a mental health crisis. Believe it or not, we create our own negative feelings. But you know what? There are seasons to life, are there not? There are times to plant. And there are times to let the fields of your farm lay fallow. And what if your time in the darkness of your wilderness, away from the world, was the season of your greatest growth? And what if there are seasons that are meant for you to rest and to read the great books and to write in the journal? and to take those long walks, and to rethink your thinking and rewire your life. And what if those times where you think, I am wasting time, and your emotional universe fills with guilt because you're not doing, and your schedule is not full, and you actually feel like you're wasting your life. What if those times were actually a different form of productivity? What if those times were actually being productive in a different way? Take the time to rest. Because just what if that resting is the key to world-class producing? When you get out of the season that you're now in and you get back into your next season of world-class. That you are built to shine Great things are coming your way. You are not average. The darkness will pass. World class is coming and you are meant to fly.